Hello my darlings, and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are in the Bramblewood area once again today, back at Haddon Hall. Last time we furnished the manor kitchen area, also the kitchen pantry, and we furnished the dog's entrance to the manor house. Today we're going to be cracking on with the main living room and also the entrance hall and landing. So let's get into game and make a start. Happy Thursday, my darlings, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome back to Haddon Hall. We're here for the sixth time this year, and we're going to be cracking on with some more interior work. You already know what we're going to be doing. I have, however, made a change up on the back area here. Look at this. We've got a little bump out on top now. I said to you lovelies last time, but I really wanted access up to this area. And one of you gave me the wonderful idea of having a bit more of like a secret corridor. So I've put this little bookcase that leads up to this staircase here that comes up to this level. Now we have got two rooms here. So I am open to suggestions and ideas from you lovely lot as to what to use these rooms for. What would you see being up here at this level on top of this here? We're going to come out here and put some, I think I want to do some plants. I want to do a telescope and stuff up here. But again, if you've got any ideas what you want to put out on here as well, then feel free to let me know. But I like it. It's not changed the house too much. I tried one of these kind of roof lines up here and it was just looking a little bit too busy. So I decided to stick in with this kind of theme that we've got going through. And I think it's just added to the house nicely and it added another layer of elevation. It just makes it look a little bit more interesting. And I'm kind of for that. I did nearly burp then and I had to hold myself in. So, as I said, what we're going to be doing today is this area here, the living room, but also the main entrance hall here and the landing on top. So that is indeed what we are cracking on with. Let's make a bloody go. So, I have already put curtains up in here. These are the only curtains that are fit the mark, really. They're the base game ones. I do want to go for a darker aesthetic. I'm thinking like dark browns and greens, and maybe like pops of gold here and there as well. Gold. So I think that is what I want to go down the route of. I don't know how I want to lay this area out. I know obviously I want to make this into the living room area here. So maybe like three sofas along here. Maybe with some kind of sideboard over here. But I'm thinking this would make a nice little nook area. And I might try and see if I can get a grand piano in there. If not, I think a grand piano would look great up on this level here. Like overlooking the dining room. And then they could be like, imagine the acoustics if you've got like dinner guests and someone's playing a grand piano up here. I'm kind of feeling that vibe a bit more actually. So maybe I could put like a, an upright piano behind here or even a desk. Maybe both. We'll see what happens. We're going to crack on. So first things first, I need to pick out the best sofa. Now I kind of like both of these swatches in here, but I don't know which one I want to go down the route of using. I think we should go for the black, to be honest. That just like pinged my eye a little bit more then because that one there was just a little bit too brown. Even though we are keeping this house like very much the majority of very much brown tones. Um, because not a lot of like old English manor houses were draped in colour really. And I want to go down the route of that with this build in particular. Um, we are going to be building another manor house as well. Um, but we're going to go for a different kind of vibe with that one. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, so maybe in that kind of orientation, what about if I pulled you to like, in fact, you've got big enough space to pull the chair right back to there, haven't we? Yeah, I like that. I do. I think we need a bit more of a dramatic light in here, you know, and I might even try this big one and see how this looks scaling wise in here. Let's have a look. Is it going to look a little bit too low? Actually, that's not. Let me get you there. You've got Daisy in the background. Oh, you can see her. She's off to the side. Um, so you might hear some snores. That's probably a little bit too big. But the wonderful things with these lights is that you can actually size them down because the candles don't come with a flame, I don't think. No, they don't. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, just a little bit more drama there, loves. Very much like that. And I want to get a nice big coffee table here. Hmm, I don't know what one to use out of these. I kind of like this one, the glass one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I've not used this in a house properly yet. I don't know what orientation to put in. I think it would work well that way. Yes. And we obviously need a lovely rug underneath of here as well. I'm probably going to go for one of the big square ones, to be honest. Now, we don't really have a dark green rug, but we've got this dark. So that is a sort of green. 
It's like a greeny kind of like, yeah, no, do you know what? I'm going to go for that. I think that's fine in here. Very nice indeed. Now, this urn is not going to be staying here. As I said, we are going to be building a church. So I do want to put a tombstone somewhere. But I think we do need a big bit of art up on the uh, above the fireplace. And I might go ahead and use this one here. And this could be the, the Lord of the Manor. I wish we had more paintings like this. I'm getting a bit bored of using the same ones from Get Together. This has like been so long. Or well, we've had these paintings for so long. I would like to see something a little bit new put into game in this kind of like classic style, you know. I'm going to move you down just a touch more. Keep it there like that. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Very nice indeed. Now, even though we are going to be doing a separate library, I'm thinking about making this into the library over here. I would love to still get some bookcases in here. So I think I want to add one onto this wall over here. And I've kind of got one in my head. I'm wondering if it's going to work. Might not. We'll have a little look. It kind of does, but it's got a bit of a different tone to the brown. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going to put it there. And I think that's going to be the best way. Yes, that is very nice, actually. Very nice indeed. More pictures. I am going to be utilising a lot of the classic looking pictures. I, I do like, like, like these ones. The only problem with these, I find, is that the wood tone is like always off. And I can never find a good wood tone to match in. That's not too bad, actually. It does need to come up slightly higher, though, because of the height of the other picture. But we're going to flop you to there, but you're right in the middle. I do love that little cluster of pictures as well, this one. Maybe I could find a nice spot for this one here as well. Uh, I think this wall here would work well, but I probably want to move that sconce, to be honest. It doesn't need to be there. We've got two on each side here, so it doesn't really matter. I can bring that off and flop you to there like that. So let me see this. Yes, that's working for me. Very, very nice indeed. I think some kind of hall table underneath of there, console table, and the same over here as well. I think a console table would look great over there. But then again, that would make a nice like reading nook. So I could go down the route of putting some armchairs with it. Yeah, we'll do that instead. We'll find the matching armchairs. There we go. Armchair has been chosen. And I'm I'm not gonna like tilt them. I'm gonna put them very straight, side by side, next to this little side table, which I'm going to be putting a lamp on top of it. Just put them lovely side by side. Very nice indeed. And I almost... Do I want to add some coats of armour in here? I don't. I want to keep the coats of armour out in the actual main hall area, I think. So let's see what else we can put here. I want to start to bring out hints of gold. So I am going to use a couple of these lamps in places and maybe just go for the same stand as well. Uh, I think what I could do is put one to the side here and also over to the side here as well. Let's face those drawers inwards. And I think that should still leave enough room for the sim to be able to get through. Yes. Um, have you heard the latest news as well? They're going to be, well, there's rumours that they're going to be making a Sims movie, a Sims film. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued more than anything. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down below. Especially with Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie's going to be directing it as well. I'm very interested in that. So I'm 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 keen. I'm keen. I will go and watch it, of course. But I'd love to know your guys' ideas. Um, your guys' thoughts on it. Let me know. Let me know down below, my darlings. Oh, I do like this. Oh shit, I've just seen those candles. I can't size that down. I didn't realise that. Well, forget I said a thing. Can I still put that there? Would that look weird? Do you know what? I'm going to keep it. It's a bit dramatic. It's a little bit too big, but I'm still going to go for it anyway. I still think this room needs something in it. And I think like a low level desk would look smashing just behind this sofa area here because it's got enough room on this side. Um, a very classic looking desk. Oh, I think this one here works marvellously. I'm going to flop you into there just behind that sofa. A nice little writing desk and I'm going to add a chair in. I'm not going to put a PC or a laptop or anything on top of that. I just think a nice writing desk would look lovely and I'm going to find a nice chair to go with it. Oh, this one here matches in really lovely. I'm going to pop you there though and I am going to, just for a little bit of detail, just slant one off. So if you do want to use this chair, you will need to like go in there and place it. But I just think that looks nice there. Um, With the Lamp of Dreams 
for an old school desk. And it's this one, isn't it? Of course it is. Let's go for that one. Oh, I do want gold, though. Gold. I'm going to put you there. How about? Yes, lovely. Very, very nice. Yeah, I think that matches in quite nicely in here. I'm intrigued by that. I do see some kind of sculpture being in here, but I think what I want to do... Oh, what did I do in there with that um, head? Oh, I just put it on top of there. I do want a pedestal, maybe like on either side. I could put flowers on them even. Pedestal either side, and then maybe the head one over here. Let's find a good pedestal. Good word that, pedestal. But this is the only pedestal that kind of goes in here. It's not really a great colour choice, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I think having two dramatic things of flowers up there would look absolutely fucking gorgeous. So I think I want to go for those base game dramatic. Yeah, these ones here. And flop them up on top. Just like that. I do wish those pedestals were a different colour, but the rest of the colour tones are absolutely disgraceful. The green is just too much. I think that's just, that's going to be the, the one that works, to be honest. And I'm wondering if that head will it even go up on this. We'll try it. I keep just saying head bust. Wondering if the P Princess Cordelia bust will flop on top of it. Oh, it will look. Yes, but I am going to tilt you off slightly, actually, just so it, yeah, there we go. Just so we can see that painting a little bit better. Very nice indeed. And as I said, I did want to get in a little console, like, hall table. People always, always think that I say whore table. I'm not saying that. Very rude. Um, I do want, like, a nice plush looking one, to be honest. And I haven't used this in ages, but it looks very nice and old. So I'm going to use the base game one and put it there. I'm not going to put anything on top of it, though. I think it's absolutely fine as it is. I think that's what I want to do with this room. I'm kind of happy with how it looks. I don't want to add anything more to it. I am going to go down the route of not over cluttering the spaces of this house because it's going to be such a big house. I want the area to run as best as what I can. Um, but we're still going to put in as much detail as we, as we possibly can. So over in this area here, I'm feeling a little bit more of a seating area. So I am going to bring in this vibe into here as well. Um, along with the nightstand and the lamp. But I do want a piano in here. I'm going to go for an upright piano. And I think this one here would work well. Because it's kind of big and chunky. It looks very old. But I do think we we need to bring down the colour of it. Make it a bit darker. Yes, that's the vibe right there. You do need to go in the middle though, my love. Oh, I do like that. Yes. Yes, indeed. And as I said, I do want to get a little bit of a seating area in here as well. So I might just bring that a little bit further forward. Turk you into there. And then put another one over on the side here. And I wish there wasn't a window in this room because I would have loved another bookcase in here. But I'm not getting rid of these windows. I love how they look. Unless I get rid of this one and just go in the middle. Let me see if it's in the middle of the room here. I think that could work, actually. And then I could maybe squeeze a bookcase in over there. Don't think I'll be able to use this one. I can try. Oh, actually, do you know what? That fits in okay. It is slightly cutting in. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. Let me see that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yes, I'm into that. Very nice indeed. Let's get in a little lamp. I do love a lamp. Flop you up to there. And I am feeling a little picture coming on behind here as well. Or even a tapestry. I even like that swatch in here. That's nice. But I will try a couple of the other swatches just to see if anything will match in here a bit better. Oh, that one's nice. I think that one's going to be the winner, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one. Very, very nice indeed. Let me just bring it down just a tad lower. Oh, yes. Very nice. Yeah, lovely. And I think just to maybe finish it off, I'm going to do a small circular rug just underneath of where the piano is. Yeah, there we go. That's the best one I could find, really. If it's in okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with how the living room's turned out. I do. I think it just, I don't know, it's a bit spooky as well, and I kind of like that. Kind of like that indeed. Cool. Okay. Well, we're going to move on to the entrance hall and also the landing so 
the main entrance. So the first thing you would see when you come straight in is probably going to be some kind of round table, I would imagine, with a nice big bunch of flowers on it. So I think we'll add a rather plush dining table here. Round about like there, maybe like, maybe in the like threshold, like there. The threshold, and yeah, I think that would be a great place actually. With a nice big bunch of flowers on it. Or we could use these but size them down. Oh, that looks nice actually, yeah. Let's flop you to there. In fact, I'm going to put you in the threshold instead and get rid of you. You there. And you there. Now, do you know why a threshold is called a threshold? Because I do. Do you want a little bit of knowledge? I don't care. I'm going to tell you anyway. I think it was back in the Tudor, the Tudor period. And they used to put out kind of like hay and stuff on the floor to act as insulation and stop people from slipping over. I think that's the reason why. And they used to put kind of like solid black blocks of wood in the threshold of a door. And it was called the threshold. That actual thing was called the threshold. So that's why they always called it that. Now, I'm sure that's the reason why. I could be wrong. But, you know, learning with Aiden. How marvellous. <laughs> so I want to do a rug here. I definitely want to put a rug in this entrance. And I'm probably going to do a nice big square one of some kind. Do you come in any decent like tones that would match in with this house? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at you. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. I think it needs to be in that orientation, though. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, that's the tickety-boo right there. And as I said, I wanted some kind of seating area here. Oh, this would be perfect. Like a church, like pew. If I can put one, like, along there. Yeah, and I'll do another one on the other side as well. Oh, I'm into that. Very much into that. I may even pull them in a little bit further and see if I can get some kind of storage either side here for coats. And once again, the horse ranch coming in to save the day. I'm just wondering if I need to like lighten that a little bit. I think I do. Yeah, I'm going to lighten these a little bit like that so it matches in with this nicely. And I'm going to put one of these maybe on either side as well so it's a bit more... No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull in another one of these and put a lamp down on this side just again for a little bit of entrance drama you know very much vibing with that let's bring that same lamp in and plop you down there as well let me see yes that's the ticket that's the entrance i wanted right there and i might even get out a little umbrella stand here as well here we are and i'll flop you just down to the side here they can still get to it hopefully i will test that yes oh i'm into that i very much am now i bought out this like waiter statue i just think it's kind of cute and i never get to use it i think it would work well here so i'm gonna flop the waiter statue along there like that i'm not gonna put anything on top of it i think it should stay free but it kind of gives off the vibe nicely doesn't it unless i put it around to this way so that's the first thing you see when you walk in yes that's the tickety boo right there Oh, I like that. Indeed. Now I am feeling a little table coming on over, over, over here. Over, over here. I might... Oh, actually. What will you look like in that tone? Do you match in okay? You kind of do. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. I'm not putting curtains up in here either. Don't think it needs it in this area. Very nice. Yes, indeed. And I think this area would work well for that dining table that we were going to put down here. So maybe I could flop that one like around about here, just in the middle of the arches. Oh, I just don't want to bring it too far closer because I just don't want it to catch fire. Yeah, that could work. And then let, let's use that other base game planter. This one. And flop that one up there. That's a good vibe. Yes. Just like that. Oh, lovely. And I am going to go ahead and bring in the fire um, utensils and flop them over in this direction here. They've got a little bit of firewood here. Nice big picture above there as well. I might even go down the route of having the lady of the manor here. I think that would be a nice vibe. I can put it up as high as I want because it kind of goes up onto that level there. Yeah, no, I do like that. Oh, do you know what though? I think this one would look better up a bit higher. And then we could do a smaller one down below it. I am going to use these ones. I know they're vampires, but we're just going to pretend that they're not, to be honest. I don't really like the other swatches. 
I prefer the darker ones. Let's flop you to there. Let me see this. Yes. And then can I do another one of Vlad? <laughs> we'll just pretend that that's not Vlad. Over on that corner there. Very dramatic. I'm into it. I think down below here I'll put a nice picture of something like this. Maybe go for a little bit more of a warmer wood. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into that. Very much vibing with that indeed. And now that we've used these fire pokers and stuff, maybe we could put them into the living area as well. I'll just put one either side. I'll do that one on this side. And then bring in that firewood. Pop that off to the other side. In that kind of orientation. <laughs> Oh, I'm vibing with that. Very much am. And I don't really want too much in this area here as well. I might just use it as a little bit of like a gallery wall and put up lots of pictures. So I'm going to pull out loads and put them up. I've put some pictures up, but I do think it needs some kind of seating here as well. So I'm going to put some chairs, well, sofas, either side of them like that. And maybe go ahead and use a little bit more of a nicer side table and put it down on here i could even maybe go for a little bit more of an ornate one here let's have a look at you my love yes but i do feel like this needs something above it or on it sorry so i am going to put a, maybe a try and find a statue couldn't really find a statue but i think this vase looks nice in there in that green yes i also pulled out some of these as well some suits of armor and i'm thinking we could add one here like that and maybe even one on this side so in turn that kind of looks a bit crowded with the waiter there <sighs> i do like the waiter but i think we could find another spot in the house for this maybe like going through into the dining room or something we'll see we'll see what happens to that i do want to put it somewhere for this cute object but i just think these fit fit the theme a little bit more uh, and i even want to put a few out on here as well I'm going to dot a few of these around. I think they do need to go up against the wall. So I'm going to do one there. One there. And maybe one more somewhere else. Actually, do you know what? I think the two of those suffice, to be honest. Yes. Very much into that. So this area up here. I did try to put in some kind of spandrel up here. But because of the trim, we get this like weird, like horrible thing that happens to it. I really wanted to add it in and... I would be able to. Oh, it's working now. Well, forget I said a thing. We're adding this in. Um, we're going to go for the brown, obviously. And I'm going to flop you to there. I do need to change that fence. I've gone for the dirty fence there and I shouldn't have. And I'm going to bring you around to here and there as well. And then I'm going to bring in those pillars and flop them into place. And I've just noticed it doesn't meet the ceiling. <laughs> it doesn't meet the ceiling, but I think we could get away with that, you know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. I just think it looks really effective having it in here. Uh, if I can do one there. Will I need to do one down below? I would, but would it look weird? I might have to move stuff around. I'll put it down there for the minute. We'll see what happens. Um, One this side as well. Yes, please. Get, go there. Yes, that's right. You there as well. You on the end. And do I need to finish it off there with one? I do. So I'm going to plop one down here as well. Now, all of these need to be lifted up to a medium. So let's do that. Boop, boop, doop, like that. Boop, boop, doop is the words for today. We're going to boop, boop, doop to that. And we're going to boop, 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 doop, doop, doop to that as well. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Literally, what am I saying sometimes? Really? Honestly. Right, we're going to move those two in like this. Let me see this, please. Yes. Now, I know it doesn't meet the ceiling, but I'm just going to go ahead and use them anyway. I just want that drama. I do. I just love the drama, Mick. Right. Okay. I feel like not much needs to be up here, to be honest with you. This would be a great area for some armchairs. I do feel like this area might need to have some curtains. Just up on this bit here. Do I? No, I'm going to keep it curtain free, actually. There's no point. No point at all. But I do need to get some sconces up on this level too. There. A little bit of lighting up on this level. Can you please stop glitching out? Why do you, why do, why are you doing that? You're supposed to be married. You're supposed to go together. Oh. That'd be why. It was me. It was me all along. There we go. They're all at the right height now. And then it brings that detail in quite nicely. Oh, I'm into that very much. 
I do feel we need to bring in these armchairs, but go for the the brown that we've used in the hallway. And what I'm thinking is just like a lovely little area here where you, you could just sit around. I'm going to put four of them, I think. Sit around in the Great Hall itself. Well, this isn't the Great Hall. This is the Great Entrance Hall. The Great Hall is going to be this one over here, which we're going to move on to next, by the way. We are going to be doing the Great Hall and probably downstairs, like the servants' quarters, um, including the butler's room and stuff. We're going to be doing that. Yes, we are, dude. I'm going to flop you into there. I'm going to keep them that far away at the minute because I really want to get a nice coffee table in the middle here. And I'm going to go for this one here, which they had imported over. An antique imported over from Inja. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Flop you to there like that. Let me see. Yep, I'm into it. We need a rug. I really want to use this rug. So I am going to change the orientation of the armchairs. So it will fit in with this rug kind of nicely. It's a bit of an odd shape, this rug. It's a bit long. Um, but I do want to use it. I think it looks great in this area. Oh, I just don't know if this is going to work. I think it might work if I move this for a start. And maybe get in some side tables with that lamp on above it. Let me sit above it, next to it, on it. <laughs> Aiden, please shush. Thank you. If I can bring these up here then. Stop one either side. Let me see if that's going to work. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me indeed. Oh, I'm into it. Very much into that. I don't really want to add too much else up here. I think we need some kind of picture over here. I don't want to put any tables or anything there either. And the same with this little vestibule. But I do, as I said, feel we need a little picture up here. So let's find a nice expensive painting. Yes, let's go for this one here. For their holiday home in Tuscany. Or something along those lines. Or Lake Garda. Something like that, you know. Yes, vibing with that. Absolutely. So it's quite like free of stuff, but I, I think that's what it needs. I think it looks very nice. And it looks down into this area as well. Yeah, I can smell. I can smell it. it. Smells like wood and must. It really does. And then to finish it off, as I said, I really want to get a grand piano here. So I think having a lovely big grand piano would be the way forward. I don't really know which one to use. I think I might go for this one, but I hate the brown tone of that. Ugh, I really don't like the brown tone of that. What about if we went for this one here because it looks old, but again, the swatches are just wrong. As always with the bloody Sims, the swatches ruin everything as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go for this one here in the black tone. Yep, I'm going to do it. Absolutely do it. And I think I'm just going to put it in straight ahead like that. Or actually, I'm going to put it in over into the corner like this. Yes, I think, oh, that's better. Yeah, I like that. Over into the corner, and I think we need some more pictures up on the sides here. And I might even want to bring out some more musical instruments, actually. Just in case they have a bit of a concert going on, you know? So maybe an expensive violin. I'm not going to do a guitar. I don't think it will fit in. But I am going to bring over these chairs here as well. And pop a couple of chairs here. Just off to the side like this. People could sit around. Lovely. But I'm not going to use that same side table. I think I want to use a bit more of a circular one like this. Flop you next to it like that. But I am going to go ahead and add in the same lamp. Put the lamp above it like that. Oh, I'm into it. I really bloody am. And I think we need some pictures up here. Oh, I think this one's perfect, actually. Just put that one just there like that. I'm into it. I think that's just enough stuff without it being too over cluttered with everything. But it's just got enough detail in it. And I am absolutely for it, uh, including the living room as well. Yeah, this is fitting the mark for me, loves. It really bloody is. Oh, OK. Well, we are done for today. We are absolutely done for today. I do love how the living room came out. It's just the feeling and the vibe that I wanted in here really bloody is. Um, so I'm going to leave you for now, my dears. As I said, I'll be back with this next week. We're going to be making, making a start on the Great Hall area and also the servants. 
sort of like basement area with the wine cellar and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is coming along lovely. Don't forget to give me some lovely ideas on what to do at that roof level that I just built with the outside area. What do you see out there? I, I'm, I loved hearing from you with your ideas. I really do. But that's it. I'm going to be back tomorrow with a speed build. Um, leave me some lovely comments down below and I'll see you all then. Goodbye.